Anyone that says, Hey, my name is Arumun and I love studying. Is a liar. No one enjoys studying. With the advancement of new technology, there are many ways that people can get distracted. The reason students might not enjoy studying is because the material can either be too boring or difficult to understand. I mean, what is this? The physiologic role of presynaptic. The first major distraction we face as students while studying is... Hey, do you want to play some tennis? No, go away! Friends and family. You need to let your friends and family know when you are busy or the times you are studying so that they don't come and distract you. Because it's very difficult to resist going to play tennis anyway. So the second major distraction is... Oh my god, please go! Whatever that was, I wish they didn't happen. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the four major distractions that every student faces while studying. And if you stick around to the end of this video and maybe subscribe to our channel, we are going to be giving you four different ways you can avoid being distracted as a student while studying. Okay, so the first thing to do, the first solution is to create a to-do list and uh, you create time for your study. If you say you're going to study for two hours, you should guard those two hours jealously. Nothing else should get your attention. It should just be about studying. It should be a situation of life and death. It's all about the mindset and the discipline. Because if you don't have the discipline or the mindset, said nothing will say in this video will help you remember after those two hours it's over anyway so you can go have fun after those two hours so but in those two hours you need to really concentrate so the second solution that has worked for me and everyone else is to throw away your phone uh, but if you're a coward and you cannot throw away your phone you can simply put it on flight mode this helps you because phones can be incredibly distracting because if you keep it close to you every notification sound from instagram whatsapp or facebook is going to distract you especially if you're reading something as boring as uh, pharmacology so the third method is to break down your material into shorter pieces. This is called the Pomodoro technique, which simply means you read for 15 minutes, you take a break for five minutes and you read for the remaining 15. You can break it down into one hour and then 30 minutes break or 30 minutes and then two minutes break, depending on your attention span. Because if you're studying for three hours and then you lose your concentration after the first 15 minutes, you spend the remaining two hours just staring and daydreaming. So it's very important to break your materials, take a break and then continue afterwards so that you won't get distracted. Number four, if you're in a place that is very loud, you can simply use noise cancellation headphones and uh, number five is to clear your desk of things that are going to disturb you whether it's a picture of a family member that you could cause you to start daydreaming or any other thing that is going to distract you for example i know my guitar is going to distract me when i keep it close to me and i'm studying i might be forced or tempted to play some sounds <sighs> so number six is to find the right place to study this varies from person to person some people prefer places where it is very noisy why 99% of the remaining population prefers to read in quiet environments? If to do this, you can go to the library, you can go to a park, places that are devoid of distraction. So the last method is to reward yourself after you have completed your work. For example, I know that if I finish reading a particular part of the book, I can go to the kitchen and get myself a cup of chai, which is uh, tea in Russian. Or you can just go on YouTube and watch a video and to reward yourself, basically reward yourself and you find yourself concentrating more. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, please, if you found anything helpful in this video, please subscribe to the channel and then like the video. And if you actually do enjoy studying, uh, please comment in this uh, comment section below and you can give us tips or methods that you use to avoid getting distracted. Thanks for watching this video and uh, of course, see you next time. Wait guys, don't forget to subscribe.